Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan and it looks like I'll be talking about Ricky Gervais more than I originally intended on this channel as he's been in the news quite a bit the last few months and he is in it again with a new Netflix special that apparently is offending all the right people. Now I've seen the Netflix special, saw it uh, about a week ago. It was really good in my opinion. It wasn't as good as his previous ones that I've seen but it was still really good. He, he spent far too much time explaining the jokes and trying to cover his tracks with the more edgy jokes, which I understand in today's climate, but that kind of took away from the long-term humor of it. But otherwise, it was great. I really enjoyed the jokes, but it looks like it really offended all the right people, similar to Dave Chappelle's The Closer. It's got a lot of things in common with it. And now what people don't understand is that comedians should be allowed to joke about anybody, anything, and make fun of everyone. Dave Chappelle makes a lot of white people jokes, and I think they're fucking hilarious. I'm not offended by it. People make ginger jokes all the time. I'm not offended by it. I think it's hilarious. We all need to dissociate ourselves from the jokes. If you're offended by stuff, just don't watch. It's not that hard. But it doesn't mean that they're wrong for doing it. Now, he has some really great jokes in here. I want to get one of them right here real fast. Brought to us by Bounding in Comments. Shout out to them as always. Oh, women, not all women. I mean the old-fashioned ones. The old-fashioned women. Oh, God, you know, the one with wombs. <laughs> I, I think that's funny, especially in today's climate when you can't trust, you know, the biological part of a woman and there's some issues deriving from that in uh, political debate. I don't want to get into that. That's not the purpose of this. And that's not the purpose of his comedy special either. It wasn't about making a political statement. It wasn't about making a statement on transgenderism. It was just about having some fun, making some jokes. And you always want to joke about people you're least allowed to joke with. That's what edgy comedy is. And back in the day, it was black comedians making fun of white people. That was the edgy comedy. And it worked. It made significant difference. And so I don't see any problem with him doing this. I think it's hilarious. But, of course, the critics, they're horrified by this. And the audience, they love it, just like The Closer. And if you just search Ricky Gervais, you're going to see dozens of hit pieces on him or the whole Netflix having to defend him like they did, Dave Chappelle, and just attack after attack. A few good ones occasionally, but it's still, it's still vastly negative when it comes to Ricky Gervais by the mainstream media. And I think it's disgusting. He's a comedian. He's allowed to joke about anything. And I apply that rule in every direction. That's how you know you don't have a bias or a bigotry. If a comedian can make a joke about anything and you agree with that, it's not bigotry. It's not anything negative. I believe that any comedian can make any jokes at my expense. I may not like it, but I'm still going to respect their right to tell those jokes. And so I'm consistent across the board, and I think everyone else should be too. If you're not okay with that, it's okay not to watch. It's fine. He doesn't have a built-in fan base that he needs to adhere to, like Star Wars, where they have to listen to fans and should listen to fans. He's just a comedian telling jokes, and his hardcore audience is loving it. So there's nothing wrong with this. I support Ricky Gervais. I think he should be hosting the Oscars every year. We need him to be making fun of Hollywood as he does so well. And I'm glad that Netflix is standing up for him. I'm kind of surprised. Netflix really goes back and forth when it comes to their comedy specials. They stand up for the right things for the right people and do the right thing. But when it comes to their original shows, they haven't been making a whole lot of good content. And in general and they've been making some weird decisions and standing up for the wrong people and you know it's weird it seems like there's the divide between the comedy section of netflix and the rest of netflix i don't know what that means and then with netflix the stock dropping and all the changes that they're making there maybe this is a signal for change at netflix which i hope because netflix is a perfect place for a lot of incredible content it's just been weaponized in recent years by the political pundits I, I'm looking forward to see how all this affects the world of comedy, how all this affects Netflix specifically. And Ricky Gervais isn't happening yet. He is not going to let himself get canceled. He is uncancelable because the one way to not get canceled is to say no. Just like Gina Carano, just like everyone else who's managed to not get canceled, you just say no. And they can't do anything to you. They can call threats of violence on you like they have. They can do all sorts of things, but they can't actually do anything. All they can do is talk, and talk is cheap, and talk is not violence. Like these people say, words are not violence. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Ricky Gervais understands that, and he's going to keep standing up for the right 
to free speech and the right to free comedy. And I think it's wonderful. And I think everyone out there should check out Supernature. It was an incredible special. I definitely recommend it. And all his previous specials because he's made fun of the right stuff in the past before. And he's just always on top of his game, just like Dave Chappelle, two of the best comedians we have these days. And we should support them because they're, they're doing their best to stand against cancel culture. And we have to be grateful to them for that. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book three, Kill the Dark, coming soon.